All right, guys, happy Friday. Um, I'm gonna try and make it as quick as, as possible, but I wanted to put out some information out there that would hopefully help you guys. So we had a uh, potential uh, contact us yesterday, interested in a possible eval, and, uh, and, and I'm gonna put this out there, maybe he or she will see it. If not, I know it's gonna help other people. So that's what we're all about, is to help other people. Um, uh, you know, as you guys know, we do the evaluations at one of two of our facilities. And uh, I did a post about two weeks ago, uh, kind of letting folks know what is, what are the evals about? Uh, you know, it's, it's it, it, apparently, you know, lots of folks just really don't understand what they're about. Um, so we really want to make, make it clear and, and put the education out there. Um, we're looking at all kinds of different things when we evaluate the dog. Uh, not only are we evaluating the dog, we're evaluating the human. How do you interact with your dog? How does your dog interact with you? Um, occasionally we get asked, you know, can we do the evaluation in the home? Um, you know, not so much. There's a reason why. Um, uh, you know, generally if you bring the dog outside of their their home uh, into a new surrounding, um, we get to kind of see other things. Is the dog fearful? Are they confident coming into a new surrounding? Uh, there's a series of things that we do with them um, <clears throat> in front of their human, uh, checking uh, continued confidence level. We're gonna ask you what you can, um, gonna ask you to, to be involved in a couple of these things and we're checking how you work with your dog. How do the two of you communicate? Um, it, it's, it's pretty involving. There's a lot of questions, pretty in-depth questions that we ask you, ranging from, um, is your dog altered? Uh, what types of food is your dog on? If you've ever had any training before, you know, at this point, a crucial um, question is how old is your dog? Is, if they're two years old, they're a COVID dog. They're a COVID puppy. Chances are they missed out on a lot of socialization. They endured a lot of stress uh, during COVID and they weren't taken places. Uh, chances are a lot of people didn't come into the home. Uh, so COVID dogs, it's a real thing. Uh, COVID behavioral dogs, it's a real thing. Um, so there's a lot that goes into our uh, consultation slash evaluations. Um, you know, we've even had, uh, you know, occasionally we get asked, which I mean, it's not funny, but occasionally we get asked, do we just drop our dog off and come back and pick them up? No, you know, like we need to meet you. We, we have a lot of questions. And you know, so much of what we do is not just training the dog, it's training the human. So um, this is already getting kind of lengthy. Um, but what's what prompted this video this morning is um, I just, you know, this person wanted to find out, you know, how can we see the dog's behaviors if they're not inside the home, if we don't do the evaluation inside the home. Um, pretty simple, send us a video, that's fine, even better. Uh, chances are they're not gonna completely act like they normally act when they're, we're there anyway. Um, so this, uh, this person uh, sent me two really good videos actually, and I was able to see uh, two, you know, pretty nasty, gnarly, inappropriate behaviors that the dog is doing. But there are so many questions involving that we need to ask, which will just tell us why he's acting the way he's acting. Um, in addition to what was observed in the video is how the human is acting. So, so often how the human is interacting with the dog during those fits of behavioral issues, that's huge such as if you're yelling at the dog, you are only amping the dog. You're an amplifier of that moment. If your dog is ramming the kennel when a stranger comes in or when you're walking by the kennel, if they're ramming and barking and lunging and being nasty inside that kennel and all you're doing is yelling, 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 you're amplifying the dog's intense behavior, becoming just simply a part of the party. And then if you ask your dog to sit, 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 or down, 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 and then your dog never does either one, and then you never follow through, and that's huge. 
That just says so much to us in the relationship between the dog and the human. So, so much of what we do with our training involves training the human after the dog completes the training. That's it. Happy Friday.